Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, we're going to go from fractions to percents. And at the top of your screen in blue, we have the steps we're going to use in order to do so. We're going to divide the numerator by the denominator and then multiply that answer by 100. And we do that by moving the decimal twice to the right. So we have four examples that we're going to go through together in order to help you get this down. So let's jump right into number one where we have two fifths. Now this one I'm going to divide by hand and show you exactly what's going on. Numbers two, three, and four, I'll give you the answer um, that you'll get if you punch these in on a calculator and how to put that into percent form. So again, here we have two fifths. So we need to divide the numerator or top number by the denominator. So two divided by five. We cannot pull a whole group of five out of two. So we need to extend with a decimal and a zero. Now bring the decimal straight up and we have 20 divided by five. So how many whole groups of five out of 20? Well, four, four times five is 20, subtract, we get zero. So our answer for step one, dividing the numerator by the denominator is four tenths. Now we need to multiply by 100, and we can do that by moving the decimal twice to the right. And the reason we multiply by 100 is because percent actually means per 100. So multiplying that answer gives us that per 100, which is the percent. So let's move, I'm going to rewrite 4 tenths down here, and move the decimal twice to the right. One, two. Fill with a zero here, and we get an answer of 40, which in percent form, 40%. So 2 fifths equals 40%. Number two, 17 twentieths. So 17 divided by 20 gives us 85 hundredths. So that's step one. Step two, multiply by 100. Move the decimal twice to the right. One, two. So the decimal is now at the end. 17 twentieths equals 85%. Number three, we have one sixth. And this one's a unique problem because we get a repeating decimal when we divide one by six. We get an answer of um, one and then six is repeating. So they go on forever that way. But we follow the same steps. It's just how you want to represent your answer. So let's multiply by 100, move the decimal twice, and we get 16, 16, and uh, six is repeating. So we could put a bar above that six to show it repeats, and that is percent. Now you can also round uh, to represent that answer. You can round to the nearest whole percentage, tenths, hundredths. So for example, the nearest whole percentage would be 17%, 17% if we rounded. Or tenths place would be 16 and 7 tenths percent. So again, on the repeating decimal percentages, it uh, same steps, you just have to determine how you want to represent that answer. Number four is another repeating decimal. We get eight and then threes repeating. So again, same steps. So multiply by 100, move the decimal twice, and we get 83 and threes repeating percent. Or if we rounded to the nearest whole percentage, this would be 83% or tenths would be 83. I'll put it over here to the left, running out of room, 83 and three-tenths percent. There you have it. There's how you go from fractions to percents. Divide the numerator 
by the denominator and then multiply by 100 because remember percent means per 100. Hopefully that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.